plea deal reduced the charge from murder to manslaughter. A local businessman and promoter built up a solid name and reputation and threw it all away when he ripped off the very people who trusted him. After pleading guilty in a Ponzi scheme today in court, Jason Pasqua may be throwing away his freedom as well. KITV Force Laura Yamada is back from court and has the latest developments. Laura. Well, Yanji, not only did 39-year-old Jason Pasqua admit he scammed friends and acquaintances, but family members, too, to the tune of more than a million and a half dollars. Now, one of those victims spoke out today about a circle of trust destroyed. Why do you think you believed him? It goes back to who you trust. It's because I take personal friendships very, very close, so if my friend vouches for you, I'm in. But Michael Liu turned out to be one of more than 30 people befriended by Jason Pasqua, then burned by lies and deceit. Anything you want to say to the victims? Today, Pasqua confessed to his crime. For nearly three years, he scammed more than a million and a half out of people who agreed to invest in concerts and promotions. That never happened. Now, to his credit, Mr. Pasqua came into court today like a man and admitted his wrongdoing and pleaded guilty. However, the sad thing is that the victims probably won't see much money back because he spent it all on himself. Victims say Pasqua easily blended with their inner circles. An army reservist involved in local events, filling several local leadership spots, even making a run for state office in 2010. All adding to that guy his victims wanted to believe. Does this change your trust in people? Absolutely. Now I'm feeling weak. I'm shaking. We spoke with Pasqua's dad in March, his son admitting in court today he even scammed his family, his father admitting he lost a lot of money too. It makes me more sick and I can't do nothing and, and I want to just protect the rest of the family. If you had a chance to talk to Jason, what would you want to tell him? Oh, I don't think I can talk to him. <laughs> Pasqua, who now lives in Arizona, was released on bond and can return home, but under heavy restrictions, he must return to Hawaii in September for sentencing. Pasqua faces up to 20 years behind bars for wire fraud. Back to you. Laura, thanks so much for that. A Japanese runner 